okay so in this video we are going to discuss about the guinea index okay so small topic but important topic for gate exam point of view you can expect one conceptual question based on this particular guinea index or one short numerical question based on this particular topic okay so we are going to discuss both the th things so first what is guinea index so guinea index is a measure of impurity or purity used while creating a decision tree in the cart algorithm so what is cart algorithm here classification and regression tree in the case of id3 algorithm we we measure the impurity based on information gain okay information gain we measure the impurity or purity of a data set based on information gain but in the case of cart algorithm we measure impurity or purity based on guinea index okay so remember this point so guinea index mostly deals with the cart algorithm okay so how we decide so first we find out the guinea index for all the attribute and the attribute with the low guinea index should be preferred as compared to high guinea index right so what we have discussed in id3 method the attribute with high information gain is preferred or it is taken as a root node than the low information gain okay other than the attribute having the low information gain so please remember one important point for an attribute the information gain should be high and in the case of guinea index it should be a low right so low guinea index in the case of cart algorithm but high information gain in the case of id3 method okay so please remember this point it only creates the binary splits very important point it only create the binary split and the card algorithm uses the guinea index to create a binary splits okay so simple three points are there please remember these three important points okay they can ask you question based on this simple points okay for one marks now how to calculate this guinea index right so consider data set as having r class label so we are dealing with the class labels that is our target variable right for example c1 to cr let pi be the proportion of examples having the class label ci okay the guinea index of data set s is given by this particular formula so guinea index equals to so guinea index s is equals to 1 minus summation of i varies from 1 to r pi square so r is basically a number of class labels right and pi is the proportion of examples having that particular class or we can say probability of a uh, or we can say probability of a, that particular class right so we try to discuss one example based on this particular guinea index okay so consider this particular data set so we have a uh, features gives birth aquatic animal ideal animal has legs yes or no right so here you can see but our class labels are what we have different class labels here mammal reptile fish amphibian and bird right so i think we have five class labels right so how to find out the guinea index for class label right so guinea index for this class labels right how to find out the value of guinea index for this class label so if you observe our formula is 1 minus summation of i varies from 1 to r i square so pi is the probability of that particular class in the entire data set so for example probability of having the mammal right so number of instances of mammals divided by total number of instance so how many total number of instance we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that is 10 right how many mammals 1 2 so 2 mammals so that is 2 by 10 similarly about reptile word of reptile so number of instance of reptile divided by total number of instances so one reptile only one reptile is there that is 1 by 10 what about m um, fish fish so one fish two fish that is basically two by ten right what about a uh, bird how many birds are there how many total number of so how many birds are there one two okay sorry uh, fish are two right so birds are two divided by ten how many amphibians are there total number of amphibians instance divided by total number of uh, instances right so one two three that is basically a three that is three by ten okay so this is what the probability of each class labels right now just apply this particular formula to find out the guinea index so it is equals to one minus summation of all those things two by ten square plus one by ten square 
प्लस टू बाय टेन स्क्वेयर प्लस टू बाय टेन स्क्वेयर प्लस थ्री बाय टेन स्क्वेयर ओके सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई हैव डन हियर सो वन माइनस समेशन ऑफ पी मैम स्क्वेयर प्लस पी रेपटाइल स्क्वेयर प्लस पी फी स्क्वेयर प्लस पी बर्ड स्क्वेयर प्लस पी एम फी स्क्वेयर सो पी आई स्क्वेयर मीन्स फॉर ईच क्लास लेवल राइट सो इफ यू जस्ट कैलकुलेट दिस तो आंसर विल बी जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एट सो गिनी इंडेक्स फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लास लेवल इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एट ओके सो सिंपल सिंपल एग्जाम्पल नथिंग इन इट जस्ट यू हैव टू अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द प्रोबेबिलिटी राइट सिंपल एग्जाम्पल दे कैन आस्क यू फॉर टू मार्क्स ओके सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम्पल सो दैट्स इट फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक दैट इज डिसीजन ट्री सो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द so in the first lecture we have discussed about the conceptual part or theoretical part of decision tree and in the second lecture we have discussed about we have discussed one example using id3 uh, method right so we have discussed one example in that we have discussed about information gain and entropy right how to calculate information gain how to calculate entropy for each attribute and for each attribute values okay so very very important video please watch that particular video and now in this video we have discussed about the gini index okay so you can definitely expect one numerical question based on this uh, because this is a topic where you can ask numerical questions and it will, that will be easy to solve okay so that's it from this particular lecture thank you